Hi, I'm K.M. Wyland. I'm a historical and speculative novelist, and a big fan of Simon Haynes's free outlining software Wirewriter. So much so, that a year ago I put together a short video tutorial showing you how to use the program. However, after watching the original video, a viewer, Mr. Game Jammer, asked that I do a follow-up in which I load one of my completed outlines and show you how I actually use Wirewriter in the midst of a writing project. Actually, it's all very simple and intuitive by this point. All the hard work is done in the actual typing up and organizing of the outline, which I show you how to do in the previous video. So, as you can see, this is Wirewriter, and this is the outline of my work in progress, The Deepest Breath. It's a historical novel set in Kenya in World War I. So what I do when I sit down to write for the day is open up the program, click on the chapter and the scene that I'm currently working on, and it pops up in this little box. And then, since the information is already here, all I have to do is read over my notes and then go over to Microsoft Word and start writing. I can look at um, the general notes I've typed up here, and then I can go to the details section and look at you know, the specifics of what I've entered. Um, particularly, I enjoy the date feature, which you can enter the amount of time a scene lasts, um, and also the specific date and time, in this instance, April 1st, 1914. You can look at the characters that you've put into the scene. These are the characters that are present. Over here you have all of the characters, and you can add and subtract as you need it just by dragging characters um, across. You can look at the setting, the locations where this chapter is set, and again, click and drag as needed. Um, any items, props that are present in the scene, any extra notes you may have written, a picture if you needed that for inspiration. And really, that's it. You know, it shows you here, it shows you the scene title, scene summation, the viewpoint in which the scene is set. You can change that as needed. Click on it, and it shows you all the characters. But, um, you know, the information is already there. Once you get it set up, it's very easy to use. It's just a matter of retrieving your information and putting it to use. Um, I also enjoyed this, well, hang on, I'll get rid of this, um, this storyboard feature, which what it does is it shows you all your scenes and the POV in which they take place, which um, I think is not only cool looking, but um, very handy for figuring out how your POVs balance out and if you've been neglecting one or other of the characters. Um, so, Mr. Game Jammer, and anyone else who is curious, there you have it. If you're interested in watching the original video, in which I go into quite a bit more depth, um, explaining the basics of how to use the program, you can watch it on YouTube by searching Wirewriter, or by visiting my blog at wordplay kmwyland that's W-E-I-L-A-N-D dot blogspot dot com. You can download the program itself, free of charge, at spacejock dot com slash wirewriter5, that's the number 5, dot html. Thanks for watching.